First, I will illustrate the coleman and the anterior part of the quadrangular lobe. This is the coleman and this is the anterior part of the quadrangular lobe. The anterior part of the quadrangular lobe ends here with the primary fissure. Then we have the posterior part of the quadrangular lobe. And as I said, this over here was the primary fissure. Then we had the clive somewhere over here and the folium over here. This over here, all the way, is the posterior part of the quadrangular lobe. As I said in the last video, this in the middle is the vermis. Then we have the posterior superior fissure over here that divides the posterior part of the quadrangular lobe from the superior semilunar lobe. And then we have the horizontal fissure. If you remember that, I have drawn that in the last video from the frontal side. And below that, there is the inferior semilunar lobe. So this lobe over here is the inferior semilunar lobe. Now I photoshopped this a little bit again and let's write the soul down. This was the anterior part of the quadrangular lobe. This was Coleman. Then we had the primary fissure over here. Then comes the clive and a folium somewhere over here. This was the superior semilunar lobe. And this was the inferior semilunar lobe. The fissure that divides inferior and superior semilunar lobes is called the horizontal fissure. This was a video about the uh, cerebellum from the cranial point of view. If you want to watch the cerebellum from the frontal point of view, please watch the last video. And if you want to watch it from the caudal view, then watch the next video. If you like my lessons or my drawings, please check out my webpage flashbrainanatomy.com.